from Manila. This is Teacher LJ, and as I promised you, I'm going to be giving you an overview of the things we're going to be doing next week. It's already week two. Congratulations, we made it to week two. All right, let's go to our week two activities. Okay, let's just make this bigger. So again, for just like last week, our Zoom meetings for this week is going to be Tuesday and Thursday, both at 9 to 11 a.m. All right. These are the things we're going to be doing this week. Yes, you. I, I know what you're, you might be thinking. That's a lot. Yes, they, they're a lot. The reason for that is... I believe you have adjusted well enough already. You know, you did an amazing job. Let me just congratulate you right now because in just a week, in just the first week, you learned to use different applications. <laughs> you were able to use Moodle. You were able to use Padlet, Slack, and many more and many more. So I'm going to be restraining myself from introducing new applications to you because I don't want to overwhelm you at this point. Hopefully I won't <laughs> I won't I won't be introducing new applications to you. Let's start with Monday. So on Monday there are several things I would want you to work on. The first one is I want you to watch context clues video lesson. It's in preparation for our Tuesday class. I'm going to go to much detail, to more details later on, but uh, for now, let me just give you an overview. And the second one is I want you to read chapter one of First John. I'll explain later. And also, I want you to start reading the biography of Hudson Taylor. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting journey with Hudson Taylor, one of my most favorite missionaries. And... Lastly, for Monday, you'll be starting to post in our discussion forum. Let's get into details right now. Okay, there is a video here that I want you to watch because it answers the question here. What do you do when you're reading and you encounter words you don't understand? It happens. It happens a lot. So what does someone who is skilled in reading normally do? Because there is no such person as who, there is no such person who knows every word, every English word in the world, right? So there would be one or two or more words that you wouldn't understand. So what should you do? Check your dictionary. Yeah, let's watch this video to find out, okay? And also, I just want to point out that when you play this video from YouTube, if it's too small for you, then you can click this right here to make it full screen. And uh, when you want to escape from full screen, just press escape. And we also escaped from <laughs> from Google from Google Slides. Oh, I cannot put it back. Anyway, see? What has happened, Google? Okay, in this case, we just refresh. Sorry about that. <laughs> there are some things that are beyond our control. And usually I would edit that out, but since I am late in posting this video and sending you this video. It's already 10.57 p.m. in the Philippines. So I was planning to send you this earlier. I'm not going to be editing this video, okay? So I would commit some mistakes. There would be some glitches. But let's not mind that. <laughs> All right. So after you watch that video... Oh, it's... Okay. After you watch that video, let's see how well you understood the quick lesson. So our goal for learning that skill 
uh, that specific skill of using context clues is to help you in reading Hudson Taylor's biography because it's not like Nusella. It has a lot of words that you you probably do not un- will not understand or have never encountered before. So you're you definitely should use context clues. So yes, when you read chapter one, there would be a lot of words, especially chapter one. But I want you to uh, use whatever you learned from that video to read chapter one, to read and understand chapter one. So after you read chapter one and after watching that video, I wanted to share two unfamiliar words from chapter one that you used context clues with. For example, I would, later on, we'll go to that, the example later. Write down the word itself, the sentence where you found that word, the meaning. Yeah, you. it's not the the correct meaning, but it is your guessed meaning. The me, the, what, what do you think the meaning is? And the clue you used. Why did you say that's the meaning? Remember, don't use your dictionary for this exercise. You can use it after this exercise, but you don't need to to show us that your and your meaning is correct. That's not the point. The point is I just want you to practice it. And I want to see how how you use context clues. After you're done, Post them in a Padlet page below this presentation on or before September 1, 8.30 a.m. Remember, our class is at 9 o'clock, so make sure you post it before our class. Here is an example. So for the word, you just write lethargic sentence. This is where I got it from. Diane was lethargic. She didn't want to get out of bed. Now, I think the meaning is sleepy. Lethargic means sleepy. Why? I think the clue might be she didn't want to get out of bed. Okay? So, I want you to upload two sets of this. Two sets of unfamiliar words with a sentence, meaning, and clue. And and a Padlet page. Okay, so that's it for the first one. Let's now go to the second one. I also want you to read chapter 1 of First John. Read and meditate on it. When you say meditate, it only means to think through it, to reflect on it, to think about it deeply. Not just to read it in passing, but to read it in such a way that you allow God to speak to you. That's what meditation is all about. And as you read it, I want you to answer these questions. What verse or part of the passage touched your heart or challenged you and why? Be prepared to answer the following questions during the Tuesday class. And Kuya Brown will be leading us in an exciting discussion on the chap- on chapter 1 of 1st John. Okay? So, please do that. Let's go back to our tasks. The third one is, I want you to read, as I said, Chapters 1 and 2 of the biography of Hudson Taylor. So every week we're going to be reading two chapters. And as you do that, I want you to fill out and submit the reading report for the these biographies. Okay, I need to show you that right now because last week some of you got confused. And that is okay. We are still getting the hang of things. So, where can you find that? You go to reading section. Under resources, you can find reading report for biographies. So, click that. 
or right click at it that's what I do and then save link as it, it will be a little bit different for Windows but it's almost the same alright save that there you go so I'll just go to the folder and there you go that is our book reading report for biography so after reading chapter one you can see here you can choose which book this is the same re reading report you will be using for the biography of Adoniram Judson and George Mueller's autobiography and later on you'll have to change this okay but since we're reflecting on chapter one just keep it all right there are several questions several boxes that I want you to fill in if, let me just explain them quick, quickly the first one is character profile how will you describe the character in this chapter now this is a description so don't tell me what he did okay don't tell me what what he felt so describe him describe him like for example use you you say Hudson Taylor was brave okay and then why do you say he's brave what are your evidences from the text because he he did not give up or nor waver in his faith something like that you can come up with one to three descriptions okay and uh, what, what's that what 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 did I want to say so the the character here that we're talking about is the main character okay so in every biography of course if you're reflecting on the biography of Adoniram Judson then you should be writing about Adoniram Judson okay because in every chapter you will see different characteristics of Hudson Taylor now the second one is problem and solution identify one problem and one solution in the story now usually there there would be more than one problems or and solution uh, a, more than one pair of problems and solutions in this story but I want you to just choose one I want you to choose the major problem in the story we call this in the technical sense conflict conflict and resolution but for for the sake of simplicity we just say call it problem and solution so you write down the problem and solution here and then this is personal write down your most favorite part of the story and why and why try to explain it now do you need to fill in this whole box not necessarily but since what is the purpose of this reading report if we go back to our syllabus this is to establish the connection between reading and writing because we learn writing by reading right so even though you're not required to fill fill out this whole box I want you to write as much as you can like really force yourself <laughs> force yourself to to write as much as you can because we want to maximize opportunities like this to practice our writing right so it's not required for you to write long but it's highly encouraged I really encourage you to do that okay now summary this is a bit technical I will be checking how you summarize the the story so this is not personal there's no opinion you should not include any opinion I think Hudson Taylor is this no you just summarize retell the story and make it shorter make it as short as 8 to 10 sentences don't go beyond don't go beyond 8 to 10 sentences and don't go below 8 sentences as well alright 
So this is more technical than the other questions. And because this is one of the skills we want to develop this semester, your summary writing skills. And uh, we, will, we will have a separate lesson for this. But for now, I just want to see how you summarize stories. And also, I want you to write what is the main lesson we can learn from the story. Also, so this is also technical because usually there is a main lesson that the author wants to impart in every chapter. There can be more than one, but just choose one, one lesson. And it should be a major lesson. Okay, and how will you apply this lesson in your life or ministry? Now, this is personal. This is personal. You can answer it the way you want to answer it, but I want you to be specific. Okay, don't speak in generalities. So try to be specific as possible. What can you do in application of what you learned? Okay, so after you're done, just save it. Don't forget to save it. That's very important because you will be uploading it back in the site. All right, close that. How do you know it, if it was saved? Open it up again and you can see your answer was saved. Okay, now let's try to upload that. Where do we upload this one? So go to Submission Bins for Reading Reports for Hudson Taylor's Biography. There you go. Find Chapter 1. Click that. The internet is slower than the usual. <laughs> Welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not always slow. All right. What should you do? Add submission. Let, let, let's try to submit that huh? because uh, some of you um, have missed this as well. Like you thought you already submitted it, but then you realize you didn't. Okay, so find the file and just uh, drag and drop it right here. That would be the easiest way of doing it. And save changes. There you go. So how do you know if it is, if it was successfully submitted, there should be a green color and it should say submitted for grading. All right, you're good to go. If, for example, you, you wanted to remove it, you can just click this. Like, oh, I uploaded the wrong file. I want to remove it. Or if you want to edit, I, I don't know what, what exactly is the difference. You can figure that out for yourself. <laughs> All right, let's go back to our main page. And go to the next task. So I think we're done for Monday. <clears throat> so this video is going to be a bit long. Make sure you watch it completely. All right, let's make that bigger. And slide number three. Okay. Oh, we are still not done. So as I said, after reading chapter one, you will have to post something in our discussion forum. Let's click that. Go to the speaking section under week. Oh, I forgot one thing. Can I just go back? I'll just go back and show you something else. Yes, very important. These are the deadlines for Hudson Taylor's uh, biography reading assignment, reading reports. So for chapter one, the deadline is on Monday. 
And for chapter 2, the deadline is on Tuesday. Please remember that. Okay. Let's go back to the discussion forum. So go to the speaking section and under weekly discussion forum, click week 2, response to Hudson Taylor's biography, specifically for chapter 1. Post your response to the question. Then post a comment on at least two of your classmates' posts. So this time, we're, I want you to respond to two of your classmates' posts, not just one. The forum is open by now. Today is Friday. And it will close on September 4, 11.59 p.m. It will be on Friday. Okay, so make sure that you do this before September 4. Actually, the reason why I asked you to, I put it under Monday is because I really want you to start posting as early as Monday so that you can have time to comment on your classmates' posts. You can interact with each other. You know, I don't want you to just post a comment and that's it. Try to interact with each other because you will be sharing your reflections on Hudson Taylor's biography. So start, start it as early as you can, as soon as you finish chapter one, so that it will still be fresh to you. Okay, let's just let's just go there. Let me show show it to you. So writing section week two. Actually some of you already posted and I'm I'm quite amazed. So what do you need to do? Let me just zoom that out. Zoom in, sorry. Write your reflections on chapter one of Hudson Taylor's biography. Write at least 250 words. So this is um, a technical requirement. I want you to to fulfill this, okay? Because we are trying to aim for fluency, right? When you're done, make sure to post a comment on two of your classmates' reflections. So that's it. it it's just a reflection. You can talk about anything. There is no right, there is no wrong when it comes to writing reflection. Just write how you feel, what part of the story challenged you, what part of the story touched your heart or inspired you, what are your thoughts, what was running through your mind while you were reading chapter one. Yeah, those are the things you can, you can write. And of course, um, yeah, some of your classmates have already posted here. And that's, that's amazing. Yeah, so you can see how many words you were able to post. Right there, 203 words. So wherever you are, you have to post more. <laughs> Edit this one and post more, okay? I will be strict on that because I want you to develop your, your fluency. Okay. And your teachers, your professors in the future will ask you to do the same thing. Write 1,000 words for something like this, for a topic on this, and you will have to learn how to make your writing longer, even though you feel like you've run out of thoughts, you've run out of ideas to write. Okay, let's go back. That is really strange. Prior to this, the internet was okay. <laughs> Maybe it it sensed that, oh, Al J is going to be recording his video. So we are done with uh, the first first uh for, for the first day only for monday let's move on to tuesday mm, google is sorry moodle is taking its time 
Let's just try to go to Google Slide. I see it's not it's not the internet. It's actually Moodle itself that slows down. So may, may, probably many students or professors are, access, are accessing our Moodle Moodle website. Okay, let's just use this. So I do my my slides here in uh, Google Slides, the same thing that Ate Giselle used for her video. Okay, let's make that bigger. So for Tuesday, you'll be writing a new seller reading report. Let's click that. We have two articles for this week. Read them, fill out the reading reports, and submit them to the submission bins. You already know the process. So I won't demonstrate that to you anymore, okay? So we have two. First article is how COVID-19 will be remembered. This is uh, an, an article about COVID. The deadline is on September 1. That's Tuesday. So on Tuesday, you're going to have two reading assignments. One is Hudson Taylor's um, chapter 2 reading report for chapter 2 and the other one is this one. And for Wednesday, pandemic sabotages sleep. So you can see that both articles are about COVID-19. The reason for that is because your writing task, your speaking assignment for this week is going to be connected to these articles. So I always choose articles that are related to each other because we will be doing something in response to these articles. Okay? So the next task is Biography of Hudson Taylor again, Chapter 2. You already know that. And Context Clues Assignment. Let's go there. So after our Tuesday class, we will be doing an exercise on context clues. By the way, on Tuesday, we're going to have a practice a group exercise on how to use context clues. Okay? So after our class, you will have another exercise. This, this time it's going to be individual. Under reading section, go to reading exercises. Click week 2 context clues exercise and follow the instructions it opens on september 1 11 a.m after our tuesday class please complete it on the same day okay september 1 let's go there for a while if our moodle page is already up and working and it's not <laughs> it's not sorry about that but you can easily find this. You can easily find this one. It's under reading section. At the very bottom, you can see reading exercises. There's only one reading exercise there. Okay? Don't forget, it only opens on September 1. So don't try to access it now because you won't be able to do so. Let's go back. Now we are on Wednesday. So, for Wednesday, I want you to work on Article 2 of Nusela Reading Report. Yeah, that, the deadline for that is going to be at 11.59 p.m. And Listening Assignment 2. Listening Assignment 2. Let's click that. So, in this Listening Assignment, we're still going to be listening to AJ Hogue as he shares from a book that talks about some problems in our educational system. Education system, sorry. I want you to listen to bigpicture.mp3. I already uploaded it in Slack, so please find it there under listening files, as far as I know. And then go to the listening section in our Moodle page Open Listening Assignment 2, Big Picture, then answer the listening comprehension questions contained in it. Finish it on or before September 2. That's Wednesday. Okay? And 
prepare for table topics on our Thursday class. So you already know what table topics is. And I'm excited for that. I hope you also are excited for that. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's up and running now. So let's go to... Let's go to that. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. It's right here, okay? Under reading section, reading exercises. Just click that. Yeah, but it won't show you because it will only open on Wednesday, on, on Tuesday, September 1, okay? Listening section. So this is what I want to show you because it's it's going to be a little bit different from last week. Last week, it was more complicated and some of you got confused. So I figured I would want to use another feature of Moodle. So let me demonstrate how to do that right now. So assuming that you already finished the file, I mean listening to the file, so you will go here for your listening assignment to answer the questions. Oh, what is happening in the world? Shall we move on first? Okay, let's move on first. I don't want to waste time. Let's go back there later. I will show that to you later. Okay. Let's go to Thursday. Can I just drag this away from here? No, I cannot. I. So I cannot. All right, for Thursday, I want you to post your speaking. Uh, yeah, there you go. Suppose post your sp speaking assignment too. Okay, just click that. What would be your speaking assignment to all about? It's going to be all about your situation during the pandemic. How are you? How is your country? So share with the class your country's current situation. How is your government dealing with COVID? How are you and your family affected by this crisis? So there are two levels in this. The first one, first level is on a national level or even your city, on a city level, how is your city, how is your country handling the situation? And how are you and your family on a personal level? That's a second level. How are you and your family affected by this crisis? You can, you can talk about, it might be that you didn't get sick or you are, you are alive and well, but how has this pandemic affected you in a uh, in, has has caused some inconvenience for you and your family. Like, for example, you cannot go to school. Your your kids cannot go to a normal school. You cannot go out at will. Um, you have to secure a lot of things. Uh, talk about the inconveniences it brought you. But also, if there are and there are, I'm sure there are. What has this pandemic taught you as a, as a family, as an individual? How has this been somehow a blessing uh, for you, even though it's technically it's really not? But maybe God has used this to teach you some lesson. You can talk about that. So again, you're going to be recording your video, but now... I want to give you the option of just recording your audio if you want, since uh, it's not required that you post a video. So you can also record a video. And after you're done, post it on week two Padlet. And you can see this under, under this presentation. Oh, it's working now. I hope I can. Okay, I'll show you later. So, or you can just click this. Oh no, forget what I said. It's not under the, the presentation. I got confused because we have two Padlet pages for this week. 
just like last week so for for this one it will be here okay there's a separate padlet so this is where you post your your video or your audio okay make sure to limit your response to 10 to 15 minutes just like in the previous video you made after posting you can comment on others videos it's not required but I uh, if you want to comment please go ahead and but make sure to watch each other's videos okay post your video on or before September 4 11 59 p.m. wait September 4 is oh it's supposed to be September 3 okay I need to change that <laughs> I need to change that that's I, I get confused with the dates I'm really sorry it's September 3 okay it's not September 4 so let me change that up later okay now uh, let's go back to our listening yeah it's under Thursday okay it's under Thursday so the deadline is Thursday and this time I just want to point out for this speaking project it's not it doesn't have to be sophisticated okay you can just speak before you're in front of your camera in front of your laptop in in front of your phone and that's it that's it okay it's not like the introduction video where you could show your pictures or it's it's not required that you show show pictures um, because we just want to get some updates from you of course we can just check the news right we can just google it we can just uh, Google what's happening in your in your place in your city, uh, but it's it's different when we hear from you, when we hear things from you, when we hear things from your perspective. So that's what we want. So you're not required to come up with sophisticated videos like uh, some of you did last in your introduction video, and I really appreciate that. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't have to be complicated okay so you make you can make it simple this time all right moving on let, yeah let's go back to the listening assignment too so well, let me show you okay yeah in this listening assignment it says listen to aj hoag as he shares from a book that talks about some problems in our education system Oh, I see. So the the quiz is not yet open. It will open also on August 31, on Monday. So we'll have to wait for that. We'll have to wait for that. But it's it's actually very simple to use because uh, you don't need to download any any file like before. You just have to answer. Answer there. Okay, the questions are already there, so you just have to answer and then submit it later on. You will see how simple it is. I made it simple so you won't you won't be confused anymore. Okay? Yeah, sorry about that. I can't show you this right now, but it's it's not necessary. Okay. Last one. Yeah, we're down to the last uh task, activity you need to accomplish this week. What better way to start off your journey to fluency and accuracy in writing than to talk about your personal testimony? This is the least technical writing project you will be writing, writing, writing project number one. It does not require much except that two things. The first one, you write and tell your story in the clearest way you could and you follow, number two, you follow this simple outline the first one your life before you came to know jesus in this part i want you to to try to be descriptive okay describe it describe it um, help us to understand how how you were how you were really like okay 
what what was what were what was going on in your mind what activities you were involved in who who you were with something like that um it's it it doesn't have to be so specific i mean when it comes to sin but at least give us a clear idea of how of how you were of how bad you were <laughs> because all of us are <laughs> um and how and why you received christ okay how how did you hear about jesus who shared the gospel with you and why what changed your mind yet yeah, this is one thing i'm very interested about what changed your mind like many of you came from from buddhist or from uh, non-christian backgrounds what made you change change your mind um, what was your turning point? And for those of you who, who were who were from Christian backgrounds, like you grew up in Christian families, what? How did you become serious? How did you? Why did you decide to to follow Jesus to surrender your life to Jesus? Yeah, talk about that in this portion. And the third one. Are the changes you have seen in your life after you receive Christ? What was your life like after you received received Christ? Okay, and in this uh, writing project, this is a response again to Hudson Taylor's story in chapter two. So make sure you read chapter two first before writing this project, because I want you to use Hudson Taylor's story as an inspiration in writing your testimony. Okay, we will be uploading some sample testimonies uh, for you later on. Okay, before, before, um, probably before Wednesday or by Tuesday. So uh, watch out for that. But I want you to think um, as early as now what you're going to be writing. Write a draft. And please go back to the syllabus. It's very important. Now let me just open that. Go back to the syllabus about uh, specifically the part, that part of writing, writing projects. What are the technical requirements? This is very important for me because you are... As I told you, it's not just about English. It's also about being academically ready. Your professors are very technical about these requirements, these technical requirements. So I want to start being like that to you so that you, get, you can get used to, to fulfilling this, these requirements. So it has to be two to three pages, okay? Two full pages okay make sure that the minimum is two full pages and uh, it has to be double spaced and the font should be times new roman and 12 points and it should be letter size eight and a half by 11. i wish i could demonstrate to you right now how to do that but i don't have microsoft word in my computer but when you open Microsoft Word, you, um, it's already le a letter size. That's the default, default size. You just have to adjust the double spacing and then the, the font. Make sure it's uh, 12 points. Oh, wait. I, maybe I can demonstrate it to you using Google Documents which I am not so familiar with because I'm using a different program as well. But let's try. So just choose blank. And that's it. So this is the default size is eight and a half by eleven. We call that letter letter size. And here you can see the line spacing. 
make it double make it double and the default font is all is Arial. Change it to Times New Roman. And it should be 12. Don't make it bigger because some of my students in the past would try to make it bigger so that they can fill in the two pages easily. Don't don't do that, okay? Stick to 12. And that's it. So when you you can see when you type it will be like this when you type it will be like this and uh, yeah all right uh, if you're gonna be working on your on your what do you call this on your on your document on your writing project number one using google documents then it becomes automatically saved yeah, you don't need to do anything. And you can just share it with me. Or, sorry, not, not, yeah, you have to save it first. There you go. So here, you can share. Share with people and groups. So since you have to submit it to, through Moodle, you can copy the link. Copy the link and uh, submit it in Moodle. I'm not gonna show you that right now, okay? <laughs> but you can also you can also download this. I suppose. Let me just get closer to the screen. Oh, here, download. It took me a long time. See, I'm, I'm not familiar with it as well. So download, and you can use uh, Microsoft Word. Um, yeah, for your project one, uh, writing project one, please don't don't upload it in PDF, okay? Because we're, we're going to be doing something with it. So use Microsoft Word. So you can download it and it's right there. Okay? If you don't have Microsoft Word in your in your laptop or if you want to work on it using your phone, using your tablet. Okay, I think that's it. That's it for the in the overview. It's more than an overview. <laughs> that's it for our first week so again after watching this video if you have any questions you can message me in slack or email me in in my igsl email okay good night from the philippines and hope you have a great weekend